and today I'm going to show you a tutorial on this everyday look. Um, it's really natural, although I do give you an uh, option to uh, amp it up at the end. Um, and this is something I wear like every single day, and it's so easy, it's fast, and uh, so yeah. So let's just go on and get into it. First, um, we're going to start off with face, and uh, if you have like problem areas on your skin you want to cover it up, I recommend a uh, tinted moisturizer for the summertime because it doesn't come off. Um, and then I myself, I use some concealer. This is the New York Color um, concealer. I mean, I find it works really well, um, and I use the light one. And also this is a sample of the Stila Illuminating Tinted Moisturizer. It's uh, got an SPF 15, um, and illuminates. <laughs> Duh. Um, and also after that, if you do have oily skin, or if you want to put powder on to absorb any sweat that you have throughout the day, um, I recommend putting on a powder. This is New York Colors Smooth Skin Fresh Powder, translucent. Um, I'm not going to put any of that on, but if you do, make sure to pay good attention to under eye circles. If you don't want to use concealer, because it will cover up pretty well. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump into eyes. First, I'm going to be taking this All My Pyramids eyeshadow in um, Apricot. Um, I really like these. They're really nice pigments. They're pretty colors. And uh, they're 98.2% natural. So, um, this, I'm, it's gonna, I'm only going to be using one, no, two brushes, maybe three in this tutorial. Um, the eyeshadow I use with my fingers. So, I just take my big finger right here. Make sure you get a pretty good amount on there. And just pat it on your eyelid. Pat it so you don't get any fallout. I just spread that all over the lid. And pay good attention to the inner corner and underneath your eye as well. And just blend that up into the crease and blend it out. Very brightening color. Like just like so. Alright, now we have that done. Now I'm going to be taking the All May Pure Blend Shadow again, um, but this time in cinnamon. It's a really dark brown color. And I'm taking a clean finger, going into it. And just tapping it on the outer corner like this. Just keep tapping. Tap, tap, tap. Kind of go up a bit into the crease, but don't go too far in. It's just to help give it a little dimension, but you can barely notice. See? Like that. And uh, any leftover, if you want to, just go ahead and swipe onto the bottom, right on the outer corner. And do that again for the other side. Just like so. And now for eyes, I'm going to be taking um, either, if you want a more intense look, I would use a black eyeliner, but this time I'm just using a brown because I'm keeping it pretty natural for this part. And I'm just going to lightly line the upper lash line. You don't want a lot, just to... Make sure people know you got, I don't know, I don't know what I'm talking about, just know that. <laughs> just like so, and kind of smudge it out a bit. And it's pretty even. And again, like I said, um, if you do want a more intense look, I would put this on the bottom rim. But I'm going to make it pretty bright-eyed, and I'm going in with a white eyeliner. Oh, by the way, this is the e.l.f. Uh, Brightening Eyeliner in Coffee, and this is the Wet n' Wild Cool Eyeliner in uh, White. Duh. And I'm just going to line 
the lower lash line, the lower waterline. It really does brighten the eyes and makes the, your eyes look bigger. Like that. Um, now, I find what helps during the summer months is since you're sweating all the time and eyeliner, you may have a problem with eyeliner running off, is I take uh, like an eyeshadow in whatever color um, I'm using. Like if I'm using black, I use a black eyeshadow, but if I'm using white, I'll use a white shimmery eyeshadow. You can use matte, but I think shimmery helps add a little more sparkle to the eye, but still making it look natural. So, um, this is optional, like I said, but. I'm um, going to take an uh, eyeliner brush, dab it in, and tap it on top. And it really adds a lot of staying power and also intensifies any color. There we go. Alright. And now, um, finish up the eyes. Um, go ahead and curl your eyes if you want. Do 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 do. Or you know, not your eyes, your lashes. Duh. This is a heated one, but since I'm making the video, I'm not gonna just. I'm not gonna um, wait for it to heat up. And I'm taking the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. It's a waterproof one, so it works for swimming and sweat. Make up the lashes. Like so. And now for face. Um I'm going to really sun kiss face. So I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush. I'm going into my Bella Il Fore bronzer um from my box thing. Um I think you can get this online. I'm really not sure. It might have been a limited thing. But um any bronzer of course will work. And again I'm going in with that uh E3 method, I think that's what it's called. It's like you do an E on this side, three on that side. Actually, you guys would be opposite. But, uh, you get what I mean. You go from this. I just kind of I brush, brush, and then go from the forehead to the cheek, down to the chin bone. And it's foolproof. A bit down the bridge of the nose, and then onto the neck and chest if you're wearing a little cut top. And uh, since it's a very natural look, I'm going to go in with some pretty pretty bright cheeks. And I'm taking this uh, Clinique blush in 108 Cupid. <laughs> Cupid, not <laughs> Cupid. Okay. <laughs> and um, I'm just using the brush that they have in there because I really do like it a lot. Put that back in there, and um, I totally messed up my eyebrows with the bronzer brush. Just brush this back into place, and um, also for lips. Um, now this is this is where you get this is another option where you can amp it up. I'm um, if you want to go completely natural, I'm going to be using um something similar to this Wet n Wild lipstick and 516C. Um, it's just this really uh, peachy pink shimmery color. Looks like that. It's really natural. Reminds me of seashells. Like that. And that just tops off the natural look. Or if you want to go more intense, um, I and like, I would take well pretty much any color you want. Um, like for example, I'm going to use this uh, Maybelline. Shine Stational Lip Gloss, I mean Lipstick and A25 Fruit Punch, and it's a really hot pink with freckles, and it looks like that. I really love this one. Like that. And, um, you can stop there. 
Or, and this is your last uh, option to find, amp things up a bit. If you um, are one of those who likes color, likes to play with color, uh, go ahead and get the white eyeliner. Can't really take it off, but oh well. And uh, I'm going to take, um, well actually, never mind. You can leave the white eyeliner on. I would think of something else. Um, take any bright color you want. Like sometimes I just choose stuff that matches my outfits. Um, like if I was wearing blue, use bright blue for the green, for the purple. Possibilities are endless. And, um, just go into whatever color you want. And I'm going in with an eyeliner brush. Oh, by the way, this is the, uh, e.l.f. Studio palette, my little face palette. Um, don't really know the name of it, but it's on e.l.f. Just apply this under I mean I'm going with that thing. Like so. So it just gives you a little pop of color. And there you go. This is your finished natural or amped up kind of still natural look. Um, I call it color pop look, even though I know that's pretty common. Um, I know this video is pretty common, like this look. But to be honest, I was using this like for ever before the for all all the beauty gurus came out with their video with their versions of this. Um, so this is mine. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, thanks thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. Actually, I think it's supposed to go rate, comment, subscribe, but whatever. You get the point. Thank you for watching. Bye.